A local family is boiling with anger after their beloved pet cat died on an extremely hot flight from LAX to the Middle East. Tonight, KKL 9's Nicole Comstock has their story and response from Qatar Airlines. This is 17-year-old Sam. The feline's family gives him a loving scratch under the chin inside a terminal at LAX just before departing for the Middle East. They place Sam in his cat carrier to ride in the cargo area under the airplane, but that's the last time they saw him alive. They single-handedly killed my cat. Taya Salman is talking about Qatar Airlines. The Irvine family had already finished a 16-hour flight from L.A. to Doha last week. They say the trouble started before they boarded their two-hour connecting flight to Jordan, when the airline refused to let her check on Sam and give him water. She says she knew something was wrong as soon as she entered the plane. Once when we step in, I felt like a huge wave of heat on me. I said, oh my God. I felt Kiba Mahmoud says the flight attendants refused to turn on the air conditioning, despite many passengers repeated protests over extreme heat inside the cabin, making them sweaty and sick. She says the water in the bathroom sink was also boiling hot. I said, come and touch the water. It's really hot. I cannot like wash my hand. How about the animals down? He said, like, don't worry, everything will be okay. The family says the AC finally kicked on 20 minutes before landing, but when they got Sam back, he was dead and his body and carrier were hot to the touch. <laughs> Qatar Airlines sent us a written statement saying Qatar Airways apologizes unreservedly for the tragic loss of her passenger's pet cat, which is being fully investigated. Qatar Airways transports tens of thousands of animals each year without issue. And we're deeply concerned by this tragic loss. The airline has the most stringent procedures in place for the carriage of live animals and maintains a state-of-the-art facility in Doha for their transportation. But Heba says a crew member later told her there may have been a technical error on the plane that led to Sam's death. He said in Arabic, he died because of the heat. Heba is also undergoing treatment for cancer, which makes her sensitive to heat. She says the airline failed to keep both people and her pet safe on this flight. Proper safety protocols have to be maintained, and this airline failed to follow them. And we also asked the airline to elaborate on what may have been going on with the air conditioner on this flight, but they haven't responded. I'm Nicole Comstock, KCAL 9 News.